everybody, this is not a spring chick, and yes, it's the day after Christmas here, actually, in, in well, I was going to say Southern California, actually, throughout the United States, it's the day after Christmas, which is the busiest return day of the year, or so I've heard, and it's one of the biggest shopping days of the year, too. Oh, but I guess the news still continues, so we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Oh, that works. Yeah. And it's all over. Oh, wait. Lay Miserable and Django Unchained. Mm -hmm. Wait, make block uh, Christmas Day records. I know. We said the Rise of the Guardians died. So Jack Raker still did well over the weekend. It actually did pretty good. Yeah. That's three movies that all shared in the box office. Yeah, but the problem is the box office is down from last year at this time. Wow. They had, when they had the, the hits all did more than that kind of money. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, well, yeah. According to the... The, all the mainstream press, the Republicans are fighting among themselves so much, trying to figure out what they did wrong and, and the blame game. Well, the way it works is the Republicans should have taken the Senate because the Democrats were trying to hold 20 seats and Republicans were holding 10. Mm -hmm. And Republicans uh, they had a changeover of actually one Senate seat, which was Scott Brown who votes for the Democrats anyway. But the Republicans will, we, okay, Democrats do things differently. Republicans. Democrats vote from the bottom up on tickets at presidential elections, which means if they like the people that are running in their party, the president generally comes in. Whereas the Republicans vote from the top down if they don't like the candidate. And they, did. you give them a senior citizen two times in a row, of which the people in the base of the party didn't like. Well, the reason why we didn't like it because we didn't appeal enough to the people that won't vote for us. Mm -hmm. They've never voted for them. The best they ever had was George, uh, George Bush had 31% of the Latino vote. And uh, the simple way they're going to handle that, they're going to run, uh, they're going to run the third generation Bush who has a Latin mother and speaks Latin fluently. And basically the Democrats are going to have a fit. Well, he's just another Bush. Yeah, but he's the Latin lover. He's, Bush. he's the Latin lover the Bush. Single, the single, it would be the first single person running for the presidency in, in oh, is a he? long time. Yeah, they got. He's I'll have to take a look. Well, he took out. How old is he? Uh, he's. Don't they he, have to be 35 to run his president? Know, but he's in his early 30s. He would be 35 years old for the next election. <laughs> and single. They <laughs> filled out the papers in Texas for him to run for. for they got a sense he's going to run for like commissioner of a thing of which his family owned both the properties. <laughs> Gives him good practice anyway. Yeah. And man enters different Sandy Hook Elementary School with wood labeled high powered rifle. I know, they didn't think that that was funny. You know, that they, uh, okay, the, the trick is is that the Democrats are now on the run on the, okay, the, uh, the weapon cells are at all time rates. The people that are basically, and ammunition, they said they got more ammunition is being purchased than ever before, which means they think the government is going to seize. And I got a thing, a press release the other day that said that the, here's the plan. They got it from a, from supposedly Democratic people in a strategy. The Democrats plan to push the country off the cliff, have riots, and take advantage of the riots, you know, led by unions, and then uh, declare martial law. The president declares that all handguns be seized from homes, and they bust into the homes of prominent Republicans, claiming that they had handguns and throw them in a jail cell in Obama basically he does the same thing. Hey folks, here's one. B.S. the Bull said Obama's not as stupid as they think. He plans to do that to the Democratic Party leadership also, mm -hmm. who he knows has illegal handguns. And then guess who then becomes totally in control? Ooh. Yeah. And U.S. retailers report weakest holiday sales since 2008. Yeah, because nobody has any money. It doesn't make any difference. You can, okay, you can discount until, you know what, freeze is over. If you don't have any money, because you aren't working, you can't buy anything. And the Democrats can't understand that thought. Oh, yeah. What are we exchanging stuff for? Yeah. <laughs> so we actually know people out there that are exchanging Christmas gifts for food because they, they don't have the money. That they're, they're, the money they're spending is going to pay for the, the major bills. And so they're, the, you know, the basic food items they can get, but the other things like, you know, the, they don't need, which you actually need to cook with, they can't get. Mm -hmm. And Obama picks John Perry, John Kerry as Secretary of State. Oh yeah, and they, and they said that they love Kerry because 
Kerry is going to get eight alive by the Republicans. He's going to get the nomination, but they're going to chew him but up. But he, he was already running before, so been, they've he already wanted, done a lot of vetting on him. Yeah, he, he wanted to be Secretary of State the first time, didn't get it, but they're... Or, they're, or President. Yeah, they're, but here it is. The Democrats are so afraid they're going to lose Kerry's seat to Scott Brown, which will give the which will mean they no longer have that that they you know they did the gain that they had they lose again oh. and it will be within 30 days after the election. I mean they're trying to get uh, they're, they're, they they wanted Ben Affleck or, or Matt Damon to run no they're not running they're even trying to bring um, uh, uh, Ashley Judd up from um, up from uh, Tennessee to uh, to run. Because her husband has a her husband is a legal resident. She's married to him, of oh. Massachusetts. So therefore, she could actually run as a but she knows because she figures that it's a, she has a better chance running from the state she was born in than running as a person that basically married to somebody that lives there. Uh, probably. Well, she has no chance because they're not going to. Well, she doesn't want to run. run yeah, she all. wants. Oh, does she? Yeah. Well, because her uh, she's having a problem like her. Uh, older sister with her weight now. Oh. And she's a she's a she's a small jet. Yeah, she's so a small jet. So that basically kills her career. As they, an actress. You know, that's right. Because if she's known for being hot and sexy, and she's overweight. That doesn't work. And Mark Sanford for Congress. Yeah, the governor. The governor that resigned uh, is basically uh, in Virginia is getting ready to run for the congre an open congressional seat because uh, a guy died. And um, he thinks that he's easy, he's easy because he, he he's a longtime resident of the area and had been he'd been the owner of that seat before, and figures since he broke no laws to begin with, all he did was he went off on his vacation time to fool around with somebody. Ooh. Yep. And Google working on X phone, X tablet to take on rivals. Yeah, Google. Basically, Google's got all kinds of things flying out there at the moment. They think. Okay, we know that Google actually, we saw the Google phone when the Google phone first came out. And everything you're looking at today on a smartphone is on the Google phone. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, they didn't go with it. Well, you know, here's, I know, when you talk about the Google phone, we saw that announced, like, what, four years ago? Yeah. And we were anti anticipating it, and it's like, why did it take so long to come out? Oh, the press was wild over that phone. It was the first smartphone. It was the first smartphone announced, wasn't they, it? They beat iPhone and they didn't have enough courage to release it. They, anyway, they control the Android market. What do you need with a phone when you control every single smartphone other than the iPhone that's out there? I know. Apple swoon exposes risk lurking in mutual funds. Yeah, they're $225. Okay, since they announced all of their new, uh, the new strategy, they've dropped $225 a share, and they're continuing to fall. Every day they fall to a new level because they're, uh, they're a one-trick pony. And they said, right now they're putting everything onto Google, onto uh, Apple TV, which they're expected to announce, are not announced during, um, during the uh, CES. I can remember we were Digital Hollywood a couple of months ago, and everybody was talking about, you know, uh, how Apple TV would be. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, nobody's still ever seen the Apple TV. All they do is they've got these rumors about it. Gosh, that sounds like before the Google phone came out. Yeah. <laughs> and rim shares dive as fee changes catch market off guard. Well, yeah. Basically, what happened is they're still no closer to their the new BlackBerry being out than they were before. They just well, we're going to have to delay it, which means it still doesn't work. And Egypt Constitution passes with 63.8%. Which they know it couldn't have passed with 63.8% because half the people didn't vote. Mm -hmm. If half the people didn't vote in a protest, it can't have got 63% of the population because what it is is they just, in, in those countries, it's mandatory that you come out and vote. So what they did was just credited the people that didn't vote with voting for the constitutional thing. So. <laughs> that's how it's done. You know, if you didn't vote, you, we, that's a vote for us, so. Oh, that's how it counts? Which they said means, that thing, that, which means if they counted 50% that didn't vote and one was 63% of the total population, that meant that they had no vote, nobody voted for that. It meant that like 47% of the people that did vote voted against it, and that's only 50% of the population, so. 
And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Sometimes it's easier just to start all over than it is to continue beating a dead horse.